Welcome to Outpost 95. Today what we're going to talk about is how to identify terrain features on your topographical map using the contour lines. Thank you for joining. All right, the first thing we're going to talk about is the definition of a hilltop. The ground is sloping down on all sides. So right here on the map we have it shown as a small circle surrounded by bigger circles. Then this whole thing will be the hill. Flat ground here on the sides, tiny circle there on the top. These are hilltop. Or these little circles don't need to be perfectly round. It's not like throwing a rock in the water where you've got the ripples making perfect circles all the way out. You've got a bunch of different squiggles showing all the different bits of terrain. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is a ridge. You're going to have high ground on one side of you and low ground on three sides as you're standing on the ground. On the map, this is going to look like these right here, pointing away from your hilltops. These things right here, be your hilltops. So you're going to have these V's, you have this wide V, or these more sharp V's. Uh, almost a U shape here for a wide ridge line. Also called a finger, we'll keep our definitions the same as throughout. This will be a ridge line. Okay, our next definition is going to be a draw. As we're standing on the ground, you're going to have high ground on three sides around you, low ground on one side. Still going to use a V to find it on the map. This time the V's will be pointing towards the hilltops. There are hilltops, high ground running here. We've got these V's on this side, this side, or over here are these swooping V's as well, pointing towards the, the high ground. It could also be called cuts and valleys, gullies. I'll be using the term draw though. Okay. Next term I'm going to talk about is a saddle. As we're standing on the ground, you're going to have high ground on two sides, low ground on two sides. So you have high ground, like this hilltop and this hilltop, and low ground like this draw in this draw. So right here where the cursor's at, that's going to be your saddle right there in the center. You're also going to have one up here between this hilltop and that hilltop dropping down. These are also called passes or notches. Okay, the last definition we've got is depression. You'll have high ground on all sides of you as you're standing on the ground. On the map, it's going to look like a circle with little tick marks going to the inside of the circle. You can kind of see there the little circle inside there also has one tick mark. Usually be like an old pond or something filled with water, low ground like that. All right, we're going to talk about trying to make this topographical map make sense in our mind using this screen over here with Google Earth. This is the same picture we had for the hilltop before. Right in the middle, we got the top of the hill. The ridge line's coming down. In between there, we got some draws. The draw going up. We got the same feature over here. You can see the road matching the river. If you could see more of this map, you'd see that there's a river on both of them. Click on Google Earth here. And let's see if we can't zoom in on this, flatten it out. Now we can see top of a hill. And then it comes back down. And then there's a little saddle. So a little saddle, top of our hill, little saddle. And then we got some draws coming up. We got another draw over here, which means we've got a real sloping wide ridge line. So we got a lot of little terrain features here. It's a tiny little draws, sloping ridge lines. The big secret to really learning how to read your map and not get lost 
of learning how to read all the little nuances, not only seeing the big picture of the hilltop, or the big draws, but being able to see all of the, the tiny little train features. We'll slide this over here and see if we can't get this dished out draw. Spin it around. So now this this way would be north over here and south as this is north. You can see we've got this swooped and carved out draw, which is what this area is here. You have a more defined ridge line here, and that's going to be this feature here. And then you've got the the hilltop, or the, I'm sorry, the ridge line running down here, and that's going to be this feature here on the map. Flattening out. So we can see here our contour lines get a lot further apart over here, and we can see that this is a lot flatter, or it's not quite as steep, versus we get closer to this part, part here where the draws coming up towards the top of your hill and we're going to see that that's a little bit steeper because those contour lines are closer together we're gaining those 20 feet of elevation much much faster so there's a brief example mostly the hilltop we'll go over a couple more here all right this is the second area we we're going over when we're doing our definitions uh, you can see this is the same thing. This piece in here is a river. We've got our roads running around the base of this train feature. This is the town here. And then over here we can see how it's represented a lot more sparsely with just some of the major streets. We've got this loop here. You can see that there. I'm going to blow this up just a little bit. That way when we're comparing, we can hopefully see some things better. So we've got hilltop, ridge line, another ridge line coming down. So if we can find that here. Then we're going to have hilltop, little saddle going up the ridge line, another ridge line coming down. So again, hilltop here, little saddle going to the next hilltop. So we're gonna spin this a little bit more. Little saddle, you see that dip? High ground, high ground, low ground, and then on the back there'd be more low ground. Another little hilltop ish coming down off of this ridge line here. Maybe it's not a saddle. So ever so slightly you can see a dip right there. Which would explain why there's not an extra little circle there. This is just a real faint running down ridge line. While we're on this angle here, you can see this ridge line coming down. Here, that would be this feature there. So going back to our definitions. You're going to have high ground on one side if you're standing here on the ridge line, which would be going up. And you're going to have your three, uh, three sides of low ground. So it's low this way, low behind you, and low to the right if you're looking up the ridge line. That same ridge line from another angle. So you're going to see a, a shallow draw here. That's going to be right here. Very faintly, you can see some minor V's pointing towards the top or up in elevation. You're going to have another ridge line coming down. That's going to be right there. Slide over here. This draw here, a little bit more defined, right? So you got a defined draw your V's pointing up towards the top. So if you're standing right about here, 
going off of our definition again, you're going to have high ground, high ground, high ground, and if you're looking up, low ground behind you. Versus we go to our hilltop here, I'm standing at the very top of the hill, every direction I look is going to have low ground. There's not, no terrain or no contour lines going up any further, so I know I'm going to have low ground on all sides. Let's see if we can get you a better saddle here. Spin around a little bit. There we go. There's our saddle again. You can see again, this is close together contour lines, meaning this is steeper. So every contour line is a hundred, uh, 20 feet in elevation. And then over here we can see a 19 going to a 2000. So we got a thicker black or brown line for 1900. And that going off the top of our cursor here, that's 20 feet, 40 feet, 60 feet, 80 feet, That'd be a full hundred, which is where this 2,000 comes from. Go down here. See if we can see some more swooping or spaced out contour lines again. So you'd have this draw here. So it's pointing towards the top. This would be this draw here. Let's see if we can't spin it so that the Uh, so we're looking at it in the same direction. You can see it swooping up. Much the same as it is here. Kind of easier to point this out in person, but we're doing this via video. So we're going to try it this way. But if you guys are trying to learn from home, going on to... Google Earth and finding the same piece of terrain as your map and then just doing a side-by-side -side comparison like this, you're going to start to be able to pick out all the little nuances, all the little little ridge lines going down, all the draws coming back up. And the more of that you can pick out, the super the, the small stuff, that's really what's going to keep you found and that's what's going to help you find exactly where you want to be when you're moving around on foot. All right, we're going to do another comparison here. That way you guys can visualize what this depression looks like. Um, one thing I want to point out before we do that, though, is this will show you how maps, something that's made back in the 80s, is going to look different than what it is nowadays. This shows a road that turns down here, which in theory should go somewhere about like that, because our depression's right here. So something to keep in mind when you're looking at a map that's older, especially 20 years old, roads and things like that can change. Some of the terrain features even can change as farming and mining practices happen. But let's zoom in on this. So remember, we got a depression here. These little tick marks show stuff going down. Zoomed in, it actually looks like there's a tick mark in the middle of this. So that's just a, a slightly deeper part of the depression. Make this 3D. What we actually have here, we have a pond, right about there, with this high point. So this high point may have been there the whole time. And then you've got another pond here, which apparently is deeper, according to this. There used to be water in there. Maybe it's seasonal. You can see what looks like a little bit there at the bottom. Not every map will always have a, a depression depicted. Part of the reason why we chose this one here to work with was it, it'll show you that, that feature. Thanks for joining us as we talk about terrain features and topographical map. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Have a good day. God bless.